Monday, October 21st, I took an olive, originally a foster kitten and now a foster fail. This is week three of having her as part of our family. It's a new week and we are once again back to pudding, not eating anything at all. I have tried all kinds of things this morning. He will not eat anything. Um, most likely because his teeth are sore. So I think we're gonna have to get him into the dentist ASAP. So last night around 1.30 in the morning, Pudding came to snuggle with me in bed which was amazing. I wasn't expecting that. Olive was sleeping in the living room and uh, he hopped onto the bed and he sat on top of me and he purred and he stuck his face in my face. And then he got under the covers like he used to do. And he, he sort of like burrows into my arm and he just snuggles there and he mushes his head into my arm or into my side and he purrs. And he was there for maybe two, three minutes and then he got up and he started going. So I knew he was gonna have a hairball, which he did. He ended up throwing up a huge hairball. So this morning I thought that maybe that may be the reason why his appetite was not as good for the past little bit. But this morning he just still doesn't wanna eat. He doesn't, it's really hard to get him to eat something. I had to give him the appetite stimulant again. So I think we're gonna have to move up his appointment for his teeth. So my dad came to help me disconnect the old machines. And uh, now we just gotta wait for the new ones to be delivered, right putting? So the guys are now bringing in the new machines. There's one of the new ones. So uh, I just got a call from the vet clinic this morning that Susie has a cancellation tomorrow. So Pudding is gonna go in tomorrow for his dental work. Pudding, are you checking out the merchandise? Yeah? How does it look? <laughs> <laughs> hey, it looks good. <laughs> it looks good. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Is this a new place to play? Hmm? Well, at least you're playing. Beep, beep, beep. <laughs> We got everything set up. Look at that. Now I can finally do laundry, which is awesome. So this evening, little Olive is, is sitting here with Miss Onyx. Do you realize that she's behind you? Hey? Mm, do you realize she's right behind you? Hey, it's the ladies together here. So I gave putting his first dose of gabapentin. They told me he has to have one this evening and one tomorrow morning before he goes in for his dental work. Uh, he ate quite a bit today, but I did give him the appetite stimulant after he didn't want to eat breakfast. So. He ate a good amount. I'm going to give him a snack around nine o'clock or so, and then I'm gonna set my alarm for 11.30 p.m. And I'm gonna give him another snack um, if he wants to eat it because he can't have, he can't have any food after midnight.
it looks like you have a oh. looks like you have a little girl there beside you hey yeah so it's 5 30 tuesday morning and today is the day that pudding has to go in for his dental work so i'm not allowed to give him a full breakfast so i'm gonna let him share a creamy with onyx all right you're gonna share a little bit with your sister okay because i can't give you a lot of food this morning unfortunately i feel terrible but we don't want to screw anything up here you go honey So this morning we have to bring Pudding for his dental work. I am, I am so, so, so nervous. I'm so nervous. I know that it's something that, you know, is, is done regularly and usually the procedure goes over very well, but I'm so nervous. It's the first time that he's had to do something like this and my worry is the fact that he has to be under anesthesia. I trust Susie, I really do. I trust Susie. But like, I'm so nervous. I really hate this. Pudding. Mm? She's, it's not like she's a huge cat, you know. Mm? She's just a baby. Hey? <laughs> All right, so I'm getting Pudding's carrier ready to go. He is currently in the bathroom because otherwise he goes to hide under the bed as soon as he sees the carrier. So what I'm doing is I'm giving him my sweater um, in the carrier so that He's got something that smells of me and smells of home. So we're gonna put that in there for him. All right, so we've got him in the carrier. Hey, okay, honey? I hate this, sweetheart. And we are gonna go, go and bring him to the vet. So yeah, so for today, so the procedures are gonna be about uh, two hours. So there's gonna be, it's all included in the estimate. So uh, the medication that you gave, it's already, it was already included. We have the monitoring, the anesthesia, uh, the fluids we're gonna give. So we're, he's gonna have an IV catheter. He's gonna have a little treatment of a laser in the mouth. It's just to help with the healing process. It's gonna help with inflammation also. We take x-rays uh, too, so we're gonna see each teeth um uh, what's happening inside okay so pudding is in with them now i hated having to leave him they said that my sweater was a good idea they're gonna call me as soon as he's done and they said that i can call as many times as i want to check on him i'm sure he's gonna be fine but i just i hate being away from him i hate him being here and me being at home I'm gonna try my best to keep myself busy, but he's gonna be, he's gonna be on my mind all day until they call me. Hey, was she a good girl while I was gone? Hmm? You wondering where Pudding is? He has to, he has to have his teeth fixed. Are you hungry? You must be hungry because you didn't have breakfast. We're gonna give Onyx some breakfast now. I didn't give her breakfast earlier because... I didn't want her to eat and pudding not to eat, so she waited. So we're gonna give her some breakfast now. All right, we got these two eating. I hope pudding's doing okay. So uh, news from Susie uh, this afternoon, oh, not even this afternoon, it's not even 11 o'clock a.m. So the two teeth on the bottom that we showed in the vlog videos, the ones that were really red, those two teeth both have to come out. 
apparently there's like no more roots left. So he must have been in quite uh, quite a lot of pain for the past little while with those two teeth. So um, hopefully this will make him feel a lot better, but he's doing well. And, uh, and yes, he's got to have those two little teeth pulled. Okay, so I just got a call from the technician at the vet clinic and Pudding is awake and he's okay. So I'm so glad. Um, so I can go pick him up around 2.40, which is maybe about an hour and a half from now. He's doing well. They had to pull eight teeth finally. So the poor kid must have been in pain for some time. All right, so I am here to pick up Mr. Pudding. <laughs> so uh, this is the pain meds for okay. Pudding, who I have been calling Oreo all day. <laughs> like you'd think there was a black and white cat in there. I don't. This morning it was all pudding, and this afternoon it's been all Oreo. Uh, um, so the plungers pulled back a little more, but it they're all pre-measured for the right okay. amount. Um, he might be a little like, yeah. yeah, on it, but he shouldn't be too stoned. Okay. Um, he actually already seems a lot more comfortable. Okay. Um, so in the end we pulled eight teeth. That's what I heard. There were two really tiny ones, the very far back up top. Um, I we took out the two down here um, that we looked at on the radiographs. They had like next to no roots left. Oh, poor kid. Yeah, and it the the bone was all just kind of like crunchy so that's and not why he healthy. Was in so much yeah. pain. Okay. And then there were four of the six bottom incisors down in front. Um, I I took out two because okay. they were they were crooked. They were all at weird angles and they were loose and I oh, it wasn't okay it wasn't gonna be good for him to have them okay. there in the next like four to six months so okay just took them out. okay wow so they the dents qui étaient enlevées celui-là celui-là wait what's yours yeah oh, you have so it. these are the teeth yep these you can keep it <laughs> this is the damage that was done uh, <laughs> there's a couple stuck uh, at the bottom well, well, right nice. so see if I can do it that one and the other one broke in half um, this was one of the teeny little oh nines um, and then these are his tiny little incisors that came out I think this is the other oh seven that broke um, oh but yeah like like this They're is so small. a tiny little incisor <laughs> Tell your mom how happy you are to go home. Hi, buddy. I know. Hey. See, this lady keeps trying to be my friend, and I don't Hi, want to. Buddy. I brought you. I brought oh, your. Good. I brought you carriage. We'll hey. take your carriage home. Okay. Hey, well, you can lose. Oh, you took your bling off already. All done. Oh, wow. Show him. Show him your big toothy smile, Mister. Aww. Yeah. So as you can see, one of his sutures there, right there. We took another okay, one out. Yeah. Yeah, you're Good loving boy. this. Good oh, boy. Hi. <laughs> hi. Thank you so much. <laughs> you had fun today, huh? Yeah. Well, we are officially on our way home. So we've got some medicines and things to take for the next few days. But uh, yeah, it's all done. King is home. Oh, pudding. Oh. Pudding, I missed you, honey. I missed you. Would you like to have a creamy? You think you could eat one? Oh, uh, you think you could eat one okay? Try. No? Try. Oh boy, you're hungry. Okay, only wet food for the next few days, all right? Okay. <sighs> Aww, pudding. Mm, she's with you. <laughs> she's with you. Mm, she wants to be sure that her big brother's okay. Hey, yeah, she's with you, look at that. Are you with your big brother? Oh, she's with you. Mm, my pudding.
Last night was absolutely ridiculous. I went to bed, I think it was around nine. Pudding woke me up around 11.30 for food. Then he woke me up again around 1.30 for food. Olive wanted food at that time too. And then after that, he didn't want to go back to bed. So I had to lie down on the couch for a bit because he wanted to stick around in the living room and I wanted to keep an eye on him because of his weird breathing noise that he's making. We went back to bed around 3 a.m. Then he woke me up again around four for food. Then after that, he pooped himself. So I had to wash his pants. Then we went back to bed and then I had to get up at six to give him his medicine. So he's still making some weird swallowing noises, but um, that is normal due to the tube that was in his throat and everything like that. So he may have a sore throat for a few days. We're gonna see if he wants to eat. We gotta give you some probiotic, okay? Yeah. Would you like to come eat? Come on. Excuse me. Hmm? She, she's just like Oreo, standing at my feet, waiting for food. Olive, excuse me. <laughs> Do you think I can't see you? Hmm? <laughs> what are you doing there? Hey? <laughs> Okay, here you go, honey. There you go. So I gave um, him half a sachet of the probiotic and I gave Olive half. And then at dinner, I'll give them each another half. What's going on? Hey, you doing all right? Yeah, you doing all right, sir? Mm, you want me to brush you some more? Hey, you need lots of pampering today. Mm, the pudding needs to be pampered. Yeah, he does. Mm. He's an interesting guy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, my boy. How are you? Mm -hmm. How you doing? Hey. Aww, this kiddo. This kiddo. Mr. Poopy Pants, eh? Yeah. So I didn't get very much sleep last night once again. Thankfully, I don't have a headache this morning, but I only slept about four hours or so. Pudding pooped himself again last night and again this morning. So yeah, we're still having issues with that. Somebody just made a big stink again because it smells really bad in here. It wasn't me. Finishing uh, Onyx's food? Yes. Hey, you're a regular Washasaurus, aren't you? <laughs> She's gonna go back to the other bowl now. She's the new Washasaurus in town. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you're the new Washasaurus in town. Here, there's a little bit left right there, you see? Yeah, you got some right there. 
Mm -hmm. She's a miniature Washasaurus. <laughs> oh, yeah. Are you gonna go down and see what she's doing? Hmm. She's in your spot there. Hey. She's in your downstairs spot. Yeah, you know. You're gonna go check. He's gonna go check what she's doing. He's like, don't don't mix up my downstairs things. <laughs> Aww. So today has been uh, fun. <laughs> I am so tired that like I feel dizzy, kind of when I'm walking around. I really hope that I get some sleep tonight. Uh, like, it's just that that type of tired where like you don't know whether you wanna laugh or cry. I, I kinda hate this feeling. Pudding has been doing okay today, but he's still like angry about Olive. You know, one minute he seems to like her and then the next minute he like doesn't wanna talk to her, doesn't wanna play with her, doesn't want me to touch her or whatever. So he's doing all of those He's still doing all of those little silly things. I did mention that he's snuggling with me again, which is great, but he's still like not happy. Onyx is kind of indifferent now, I guess. She's, she's still hissing at her, but other times she'll just let her sit next to her and she won't make a peep. So it has come a long way since the first week. Is, is she bugging you, Onyx? All of you are asking for trouble, eh? Yeah with with her tail putting is watching too like mm. <laughs> she's trying to catch onyx's tail hi well i actually slept in a little bit this morning it's almost eight o'clock which is quite late for me it's like five to eight um yeah, so I actually slept. Eh? Yeah. Mm. No, that's my girl. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Who's that? Who's that there? Who is that? Eh? <laughs> Look at how big you've gotten, Olive. Eh? Yeah, already. Oh my goodness. It goes so fast, eh? <laughs> yeah. She's gonna be a beauty, I'll tell ya. I'm pretty sure she's gonna be really pretty when she gets big. Mm. Hey, buddy. Mm. We had a snuggle fest. Me and this guy. Hey, yeah, we had a snuggle fest last night and this morning. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It was wonderful. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, I think he understands now that Olive isn't replacing him in that department. Hey, yeah, I think you get that now, eh? Mm-hmm. There's no snuggler like a pudding. <laughs> so it's Friday, last day of the week. Things today are a bit better. I actually finally slept, which is fun. Pudding once again was a big snuggler throughout the night. So that was great. A few times he came and he, you know, lied on top of me and hugged me and everything. So that was really nice. Um, he's still making this like weird swallowing sound so I'm gonna call the vet today and ask about that. But other than that, he's eating normally. He's doing well. Oh!
got some biscuits going. There we go. I'm still exhausted. <laughs> I'm just taking a little rest this afternoon. I still got a lot of sleep to catch up on. Mm hmm? Pudding biscuits. <laughs> I think whether you like it or not, Onyx, I think you have a... I think you've got a, like a mini-me there. Hmm? <laughs> yeah. Mm, yeah. She likes you, that's for sure. Mm hmm. Snuggle buddy here. Mm -hmm. Hey, it's the weekend pudding. Yeah, it's the weekend. Mm -hmm. This pudding. Yeah, another week, another week gone. It goes so fast, eh? Mm -hmm. Hi. Oh yeah. Ooh, what's going on here? Hey. Would you like a little snack too? Mmm. This little purry girl. Hey. Yeah. Mmm. <laughs> Hi. Oh. Mmm. <laughs> You're such a special little thing, eh? Yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> You're so cute. Mm. So last night we had quite a lot of success with Onyx and Olive. I can't believe that she was actually cleaning her, which is pretty cute. She was grumbling or like grunting at the same time as though she was saying like, do I really have to do this? <laughs> you know? But I think that's some pretty good progress. Pudding was playing with her all day yesterday, so that's good too. He is back to snuggling just as much as he did before, so I'm really happy about that. Uh-oh. Has she got you? <laughs> hey, what's going on there? <laughs> hmm? Who's, who is that? Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, who's in there, pudding? Who's in there? Uh-oh. <laughs> it's peekaboo paws. Hmm? You're playing the peekaboo paws. Yeah. <laughs> pudding used to do the same thing with Onyx and Oreo when he was little. <laughs> the peekaboo paws, say? Eh? Yeah. <laughs> She's going up. She's just like, oh, <laughs> just like you used to do pudding. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Mm. She's a lot more like you than you think, eh? Olive, do you want to explore? Do you want to explore the top? Hey, do you want me to show you up top? I'm going to show her. I'm going to show her what's up there. I'm going to get up on a chair and I'm going to show her what's up there because she can get... She can get that far, but she hasn't been able to like get up that way yet. Mind you, if she tries hard enough, she'd probably be able to. You can go up that way, all right? And then and then you can go up, you can go up even you can go up even more after that, Olive. Here, look, I'm coming up. Up. Oh, here, watch. Look. Okay? Here. Look up there. <gasps> look at that. It's a whole other world. Hey? You got a bunch, you got a whole new place to explore up there. Hey? Yeah. <laughs> That's it. That's it. Good girl. There you go. That's it. Yeah. You can keep going. Mm-hmm. 
Susan, stop to smell the flowers. Yeah. Here she comes, Onyx. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> Here she comes. Oh. Hey, you still putting puddings cubby? Hmm? You still puddings cubby? Uh-oh. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Are you dancing in there? <laughs> mm. All right, well now she's gotten up there all by herself. <laughs> yep. Um, the only thing is I think I'm gonna have to remove the fake plants because it looks like she's trying to eat them. Here he is, this guy, watching over his street. Pudding, is there anything interesting going on today? Hmm? And here she is coming to bug him. Yeah. Oh, she's in the shoes again. Hi. Hey. <laughs> so it's been a really crazy past three weeks between getting Olive, putting, getting his dental work done, all kinds of everything else that went on. Um, since last evening, Pudding hasn't really wanted to eat again. So we're back to having trouble with that. I'm not really sure why. Um, I did speak to Susie and she said that, you know, he should, should be feeling better by now. Um, and that his procedure went really well. So uh, I did give him uh, the appetite stimulant this morning, which seems to have helped a little bit, but it's hard for me to know whether he's still in pain or whether he's just being difficult um, but it is hard for me to get him to to eat once again so we are off to see Susie again tomorrow we do have a follow-up appointment regardless to check how everything is healing so we're gonna go see her tomorrow and uh, you know see if see if there's anything there see if it's all looking good um, yeah I'm, I'm kind of at a loss as to why? <laughs> I just want him to feel better um, 100%. So that's, uh, that's where we're at this afternoon. And with that, we will call this the end of our kitten vlog for week three. I guess this week really wasn't so much about Olive. It was more about pudding. Um, but as you can see, she has grown quite a bit since the first week. And I can't wait to continue to watch her grow. And I hope that all you guys will stick around for the ride. Um, I will definitely keep you guys posted as to what goes on with pudding this week. And uh, yeah, so I hope you guys have a great Sunday. I hope you have a great week. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. Okay, bye everybody. <laughs>